The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. In a heartfelt confession that left millions in tears, Catherine bravely revealed the raw and painful details of her battle against cancer. The Princess of Wales stunned the world with a message filled with vulnerability and honesty. Her words captured the depth of her courage as she faced one of life's most challenging battles. This was not just a royal announcement. It was a window into Catherine's soul, exposing her fears, hopes, and the relentless fight she is enduring. Please listen. Her new confession has stirred a wave of empathy and left everyone wondering what lies ahead. Catherine's Cancer Diagnosis and the Shockwave The news of Catherine's cancer diagnosis struck like a bolt from the blue. Catherine is known for her seemingly boundless energy and has long been admired for her grace, health, and commitment to duty. To hear that such a vibrant public figure was now facing a battle against cancer was as unexpected as it was heartbreaking. While her life has been full of demands, engaging with charity work, fulfilling royal duties, and raising her young children, Catherine had always managed to balance these responsibilities. Her diagnosis, however, forced her to pause and reevaluate everything, particularly the relentless public obligations that had once defined her role. Many had seen Catherine as untouchable in her role as the future Queen of England, an emblem of strength and grace who, despite the scrutiny of her position, had always held herself with dignity and compassion. Yet here she was, openly sharing a deeply personal fight against an illness that does not discriminate. This public admission shattered the illusion of invincibility often associated with the monarchy and exposed the reality that, at the core, Catherine is just as human as those who look up to her. Within the royal family, the impact was equally profound. The monarchy keeps its private affairs close to the chest. It rarely lets the world peek behind the curtain of its personal matters. But the gravity of Catherine's diagnosis could not be hidden. From King Charles down to the youngest family members, the news reverberated with painful significance. The family's focus shifted. Schedules were rearranged to provide Catherine with the space and support she needed. Prince William, who had always been her steadfast partner, took on a larger share of public appearances and engagements. Behind the scenes, he became not only her emotional anchor, but also a fierce advocate for her well-being. In just a few short days, the media turned its full attention to Catherine's journey. They speculated about the impact of her diagnosis on the royal family and their future. Headlines chronicled every detail, and royal experts weighed in on how this might shift Catherine's priorities and role in the monarchy. For many, the question loomed, how would the princess balance her battle against cancer with the demands of her public life? Even more pressing was the question of how her family would cope with the shift in dynamics that came with her sudden illness. Though still early in her journey, Catherine's unexpected diagnosis has already reshaped the royal narrative. Her openness has paved the way for a deeper connection between the monarchy and the public. As Catherine prepares for the next steps in her treatment, the world clings to each update as if it were a message from a friend. Her battle against cancer is no longer just a personal struggle. It is a poignant story of strength and vulnerability that has left everyone bracing for the challenges yet to come. Coping with Diagnosis When Catherine first received her diagnosis, she stood at an emotional crossroads. The shock was overwhelming, and the questions felt endless. How would this affect her life, her family, and her role as the future Queen of England? In those early days, she clung to her closest support system, her family. Prince William became her unwavering anchor. He was a source of constant strength and comfort as she began to grapple with the reality of her condition. For both Catherine and her family, the news forced them to reevaluate everything they once took for granted. They shifted priorities to ensure her health and well-being came above all else. Catherine's first steps in coping were marked by quiet moments of introspection and rebalancing. She realized that the constant pull of public duties, charity engagements, and royal appearances would need to take a back seat. For a woman as dedicated as Catherine, stepping back was no easy feat. Her responsibilities to the crown and her unwavering sense of duty had always driven her forward. Yet now, her focus had to turn inward. It was a period of adjustment where each day felt like a small victory just to process the vast changes happening in her life. Family dinners became sacred, with time spent at home offering a safe space to gather strength. Choosing to share her diagnosis with the world was another significant step and it was one Catherine didn't take lightly. 
Catherine knew the power of vulnerability and felt that by revealing her struggle, she could foster a sense of unity and inspire strength in others facing similar challenges. This was her way of connecting with the millions of people who had supported her and showing them that she too was facing the same fears and uncertainties they might know all too well. Announcing her illness also brought an unexpected relief. The act of sharing her diagnosis lifted a weight off her shoulders. It allowed her to embrace her journey openly rather than in silence. By speaking up, she opened the door for others to come forward with their own stories of struggle and resilience. In this early stage, empathy and community support became lifelines for Catherine. Knowing that others stood with her allowed her to face each day with renewed determination. The words and gestures of well-wishers weren't just expressions of goodwill. They were sources of strength that reminded her of the collective support enveloping her. And it created a sense of purpose that reached beyond her own battle. For the first time, Catherine was experiencing what it felt like to truly be at the center of public compassion, and it moved her in profound ways. Within her family, this newfound vulnerability created an environment of profound emotional support. William kept her spirits high, even on the days when the reality of her diagnosis seemed insurmountable. Her children, though young, offered her a comforting sense of normalcy. Even through the heavy fog of treatment, there were moments of laughter and joy that brought a much-needed lightness. Her family understood that sometimes the best support came not from words, but simply from their presence, whether through an encouraging smile from William, a drawing from her daughter, or a warm embrace at the end of the day. This shift in perspective also encouraged Catherine to reevaluate her relationship with public service. Her work with health-related charities and her involvement in advocating for mental health awareness took on a new significance. Now more than ever, she understood the importance of supporting those facing health challenges. Her journey with cancer added a level of authenticity and personal connection to her advocacy work that was deeply felt by those she had touched through her charity work over the years. For Catherine, this journey was becoming a way to reinforce her commitment to using her platform for good. With each passing day, she grew more resilient. The experience transformed her view of what it meant to be a royal in the public eye. She recognized the value in allowing people to see her vulnerabilities to see that she too was someone who faced fears and uncertainties. This openness not only humanized her, but also strengthened her connection with her supporters, creating a bond that went beyond her title. As she moved into the next stage of her journey, Catherine's determination to fight became increasingly apparent. The early days of confusion and shock began to give way to a fierce resolve, one bolstered by the empathy and solidarity surrounding her. She was no longer alone in this battle, with her family, her supporters, and an ever-growing community, she felt fortified and ready to face the long road ahead. Catherine's battle in private. Behind the closed doors of Anmer Hall, Catherine's battle against cancer unfolded in moments that were as quiet as they were heart-wrenching. While the world offered support from afar, it was within her family circle that the truest struggles were felt. Each day brought new challenges and raw emotions, and every moment tested the strength of the bonds that held her family together. Prince William took on the role of her primary caregiver. The weight of Catherine's illness bore heavily on him, and he was determined to support her through each step of this journey. For William, this meant stepping away from some royal duties and ensuring that his time at home was fully dedicated to Catherine and their children. Though he had faced public scrutiny and royal demands before, nothing could have prepared him for the fear of possibly losing his wife to such a relentless disease. In private, he stayed strong and provided Catherine with encouragement on her darkest days. But friends close to the family noticed the strain in his eyes. It was clear that William's love for Catherine and his devotion to their family had deepened with each passing day and that it fueled his resolve to be her rock through this turbulent time. Their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, had to grow up quickly. While they may not fully understand the gravity of their mother's illness, they sensed the tension in the household and intuitively knew that their mother was fighting something serious. Prince George, the eldest, took on a quiet maturity. He watched over his younger siblings with a newfound sense of responsibility. Though still just a child, he seemed to understand that his family needed him to be strong. Charlotte, with her nurturing nature, made efforts to keep her mother's spirits high. She often made Catherine laugh with stories from school or by creating handmade cards with drawings and notes. Louis, the youngest, provided moments of innocent joy. He brought smiles and laughter to the family during their most difficult days. Close friends were also there to lend their support. Catherine's inner circle rallied around her, 
understanding that in this time of crisis, she needed companionship without the added pressure of putting on a brave face. Close friends often visited Anmer Hall to help with household routines or look after the children. Everyone banded together to create a support system that allowed Catherine to focus on her health without feeling like a burden. Simple acts like preparing meals or offering a comforting shoulder became lifelines in Catherine's battle. And each gesture was a reminder that she was surrounded by people who cared deeply. These private moments painted a picture of a family bound together by love. The days took on a new rhythm as William and Catherine adjusted to life marked by hospital visits, treatment sessions, and periods of recovery. During these times, the family found comfort in small rituals, dinners around the table, movie nights, or walks in the countryside. For Catherine, these were grounding moments that provided her with a sense of stability amidst the whirlwind of emotions and physical challenges she was enduring. The emotional toll of Catherine's illness didn't go unnoticed. There were times when sadness and fear filled their home. However, the family chose to face these feelings with an unspoken understanding. They leaned on each other and drew strength from their shared commitment to face the future together, whatever it might hold. Catherine would quietly watch as George helped Charlotte with homework, or as Louis, unaware of the gravity of the situation, would burst into spontaneous laughter. All of this filled her home with a sense of normalcy that felt both fragile and precious. These private struggles also brought Catherine and William closer. Their marriage, which had already weathered years of public scrutiny and royal expectations, found new depth through this ordeal. Their quiet conversations late at night, shared tears and mutual encouragement, created an even stronger foundation for their relationship. In those moments when the world seemed to fade away, the family's quiet resilience shone the brightest. Close friends described Anmer Hall as a sanctuary of love and strength, a place where the family gathered together to find comfort in each other. In this private space, away from the demands of royal duty and public appearances, Catherine and her family forged a new reality, one where love, empathy, and unity were their most powerful weapons against an uncertain future. The New Confession, a turning point in her battle. In a powerful and deeply personal message, Catherine shared a confession that marked a turning point in her battle against cancer. After months of keeping her most profound fears close to her heart, she finally revealed the thoughts that had haunted her since her diagnosis. Catherine spoke openly about the uncertainty that loomed over her. She confessed that she feared not being there to watch her children grow up, to guide them through life's challenges, or to share in their achievements. Her words were honest and raw, and left listeners deeply moved as they realized the extent and depth of Catherine's vulnerability. This confession was about more than her own worries. It was an expression of the universal fears that come with illness. Catherine admitted that, in the quiet moments, doubts had crept in, and that she wondered if she would be able to fulfill her role as a mother, wife, and public figure. The feelings of helplessness weighed heavily on her. She was unafraid to admit that there were days when she felt less capable and more fragile than ever before. Yet despite these fears, Catherine's courage shone through in her willingness to be honest with the world and share the full picture of her journey, not just the polished image seen in public. In revealing her innermost fears, Catherine connected with millions on a deeply human level. Her confession reminded people that cancer is not just a medical diagnosis. It's an emotional and mental journey that challenges one's very sense of identity. By sharing her thoughts openly, she bridged the gap between her royal title and the common struggles that so many face in the fight against illness. Catherine's authenticity resonated with countless individuals who saw themselves in her words. Her story became more than just a royal narrative. It was a shared experience that inspired strength and empathy across communities. Catherine understood that by exposing her vulnerabilities, she was showing the world a side of herself that few had seen before. This level of openness was a departure from the usual reserve associated with the monarchy, yet it felt natural to Catherine. She recognized that by being honest about her struggles, she was helping herself process the journey, while providing solace and encouragement to others who might be grappling with similar fears. Her confession was a gift to those who felt alone in their struggles, a reminder that they were not facing this battle in isolation. This turning point also became a moment of liberation for Catherine. By admitting the fears she had previously kept hidden, she allowed herself to let go of the pressure to appear unbreakable. She embraced the fact that it was okay to feel uncertain, to have days of doubt, and to ask for help. 
This newfound acceptance helped her approach each day with a sense of peace and strength that could only come from embracing her true self. Her honesty became a source of inner power that would carry her forward. Catherine's courage to open up also had a ripple effect on those closest to her. Friends, family members, and even strangers felt more at ease to share their own stories and fears after her bravery. Her confession sparked conversations about vulnerability, mental health, and the importance of community support. Catherine's willingness to confront her own fears publicly made her a symbol of strength, and it encouraged others to face their own challenges with the same determination and honesty. In the days following her confession, messages of solidarity poured in from around the world. This confession was raw and transformative, and this moment marked a new chapter in her battle against cancer, one fueled by the power of connection, authenticity, and the unwavering support of those who stood beside her. Catherine's Support Network. At the heart of Catherine's journey has been a close-knit circle of friends, family, and trusted medical professionals who have stood by her through every step. This collective of loved ones, including King Charles and Queen Camilla, and experts became her foundation, providing both emotional and practical support as she navigated the challenging realities of her diagnosis and treatment. Their commitment was unwavering. It offered her the strength to keep fighting, even on the days when the weight of her battle felt nearly unbearable. Prince William provided constant emotional reassurance and took on more duties at home to ensure Catherine could focus on her health. From attending doctor's appointments by her side to rearranging his public schedule to be more available, William's dedication to his wife became an inspiring example of love in action. His quiet support, along with his determination to shield her from external pressures, brought Catherine the sense of peace and security that she needed. Her extended family also rallied around her. Catherine's sister Pippa became a regular visitor at Anmer Hall. She stepped in frequently to help care for Catherine's children. In moments when Catherine needed rest or a break from her motherly duties, Pippa's presence allowed her the freedom to do so without worry, knowing her children were in loving hands. Catherine's mother, Carol, was another pillar of strength. She often arrived with home-cooked meals and comforting routines that reminded Catherine of simpler, happier times. Close friends, many of whom Catherine had known long before her days in the spotlight, showed their support. They respected her need for privacy and refrained from speaking publicly about her condition. This way, Catherine could retain control over her story. These friends visited her regularly, often bringing favorite books, handmade blankets, and heartfelt letters to lift Catherine's spirits. Their visits were filled with laughter and memories and moments of joy and distraction that were a much-needed reprieve from the intensity of treatment. Among this circle of unwavering support was also a skilled team of medical professionals who dedicated themselves fully to her care. Catherine's doctors and nurses approached her treatment with the utmost compassion. They recognized the importance of building a relationship based on trust and empathy. They provided clear communication about her treatment process and patiently addressed her concerns. This fostered an environment in which Catherine felt empowered to make informed decisions about her health. The medical team's kindness extended beyond their professional duties. They knew how grueling the process was and frequently offered encouragement. Catherine was not just a patient for them, she was a person. Nurses and hospital staff became familiar faces. They often went out of their way to offer comfort during Catherine's visits. One nurse in particular left a lasting impression by placing a small stuffed animal, a token from her own young daughter, on Catherine's hospital bed before a difficult procedure. Acts like these reminded Catherine that her journey was supported by countless individuals and that each was personally invested in her well-being. In their hands, she found the courage to continue her battle. The children rise to the challenge. Catherine's journey has profoundly affected her children, and they have shown remarkable maturity and resilience in the face of their mother's illness. Though still young, each child has found their own way to support Catherine. Together, they have embraced this new reality to create a foundation of strength for Catherine that reminds her of the reasons she continues to fight so hard. Prince George, the eldest at just 10 years old, is sensitive and perceptive. He understood early on that his mother's illness required him to step up in ways he hadn't before. Though only a child himself, George began to watch over Charlotte and Louis with a quiet protectiveness. He often helped them with tasks around the house or reassured them when they sensed that something was amiss. Catherine noticed his maturity in the small acts of kindness he extended to her as well, bringing her tea on difficult days or sitting beside her with a book. 
These moments, small as they were, conveyed a depth of understanding that Catherine hadn't expected from her son. Princess Charlotte was equally aware of her mother's struggle, and she has shown a nurturing side that mirrors Catherine's own strength and compassion. Although only eight, Charlotte possesses a strong sense of empathy. On days when Catherine's energy waned, Charlotte stayed close, occasionally crafting handmade notes or drawing colorful pictures, each one signed with love from Charlotte and a heart. Her words became keepsakes that Catherine cherishes as reminders of her daughter's unwavering love. She turned worry into expressions of support that lifted Catherine's spirits in quiet, tender moments. Four-year-old Prince Louis, the youngest, may not fully understand the severity of his mother's illness, but he too sensed the need for joy and lightness in the family's day-to-day -day life. With his playful personality, Louis provided moments of laughter that served as a balm for the whole family. His spontaneous bursts of joy and uninhibited curiosity brought energy into the home. His contagious laughter filled rooms with a warmth that only the innocence of a child can bring. The children's ability to adapt has offered Catherine emotional support and also strengthened the bond among them as siblings. Their shared experience has fostered a sense of unity, and they have learned to lean on one another in Catherine's absence during treatments or on days when she needs rest. With each smile, hug, and quiet act of support, George, Charlotte, and Louis reflected the strength of their family and offered Catherine a light to hold on to as she moved forward. Reflections on mortality and legacy. Facing cancer has led Catherine to confront her own mortality in a way she never anticipated, and it has profoundly reshaped her understanding of what truly matters. Catherine's illness has given her a heightened appreciation for life's fleeting beauty and a clear understanding of how quickly things can change. She began to view her daily moments with newfound gratitude, simple exchanges, laughter around the family table, and the comfort of a quiet evening with William by her side. These moments became the essence of her life, more precious than any public recognition or title. The experience reminded her that at the core of her legacy lies not just her public work, but the relationships and bonds she has built, both as a mother and a wife. This journey has also clarified her hopes for the future. Catherine is more determined than ever to use her platform to bring awareness to cancer prevention and mental health, and she hopes to encourage others to prioritize their well-being. She envisions a future where her story serves as a source of strength and a reminder of the importance of early detection. By sharing her vulnerability, she hopes to inspire a legacy of courage and openness. She hopes to encourage others to seek help, face their fears, and take proactive steps for their health. While the uncertainty of her illness lingers, Catherine's reflections have filled her with a sense of purpose that transcends her role as a royal figure. She now sees each day as an opportunity to make a lasting impact on the lives she touches, both publicly and privately. This new perspective has not only strengthened her resolve but has become a guiding force. It is shaping the legacy she is determined to build, one of resilience, compassion, and unwavering love. Do you think Catherine will be able to beat cancer? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. We'd love to hear. For now, we're done. Catch you in the next video.